Diggy stuns the town hall. Will she get it with her ability? Oh, it's low. Come on. RC. RC. Not like this. Welcome back, your faces, ladies and toasts. To the next matchup here in the Mave Cup. Look who joined Strut. Rigo Torres 23. A world class player. And yes, it is official. Rigo is a part of Strut going into the 2023 season. It's not just temporary. It seems like he's going to be a part of the main lineup. And let's see how he does today against Chaz Mac Gaming. Who's going to win this matchup? We will find out soon. Chaz Mac are in with the first attack. Of the day, Little Queen, charge, low, low action with a Hog Rider, with a Valkyrie. Using that Flame Flinger early. Here comes CC troops, Rocket Balloons, and a Lava Dog. Pretty classic stuff. We're going to rage up that Archer Queen. Now, this Flame Flinger is going to get in range of the Mortar pretty quickly here. Is he going to use anything to try and distract that Mortar? Just the one Hog Rider. Two Mortars, even. Distracts the Mortar for one shot, but that's it. Flame Flinger is going to take quite a bit of damage. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of that. This base does look familiar. I feel like I've attacked it. I think I have, but oh well. Let's see what he does. That Flame Flinger is super low on HP already. Queen, he's trying to get her maybe to that Clan Castle compartment where she can reach both Inferno Towers and the Eagle. Yeah, that's a juicy spot if you can get her there. King over on the left side. We might need to hurry up with this King Funnel, though, to make sure Queen goes inside. Now, the, the Flame Flinger does die to the Mortar Shots. One Yeti hits a Spring Trap right away. Are we going to be able to get the other Scatter Shot at least with the Yeti Mites? Hopefully. Next Wall Breaker's in. Queen can already reach both Multis and the Eagle. So that last Wall Breaker does actually give her access to go get the Scatter Shot that the Yetis were not able to finish. Oh, uh, I don't like this other Wall Break. I think it's better to force her to the other Scatter. But now she'll be able to reach the Monolith as well. Just got to see if he can keep her alive. King Row Champion on the left side getting some value over there. There is a Tesla farm. We're going to invis the Queen. She's walking downtown toward the Monolith. Going to skip that upper scatter and the enemy Queen. I think it would have been better to force her up the other way. Can she take out the Royal Champion at least? Yes, she pre-triggers the invis tower, which is nice. And now she's just beating on a wall like a silly goose. Expo locks onto her. She's taking a lot of damage there. Do we dare freeze the Expo with the Town Hall? I think it's worth it. Oh, he didn't freeze the Expo with it. Why not? You could have kept the Queen alive there for sure. One more freeze on the Town Hall. Sends all three Headhunters to the King. Rages. Pops Warden ability. We're going to have to get through this Queen on the back end. I don't know if the Headhunters are going to make it there. Two of them hit a Spring Trap. He might be in trouble. Balloons get past the Giga Poison easily. We got a few more on the back end. We got a freeze spell. But killing the Queen could be tough. Warden goes down. Queen's popping balloons. Owl's trying to take her out. Tornado trap spinning. And it fizzles out. Oh, rip the homie. Big rip. I think if he had tanked for the flame flinger, just even a little bit better. Maybe send a giant. Maybe even drop a balloon. Bring a second giant. This actually could have been a triple. Because the flame flinger could have gotten the scatter. Yetis might have been able to take out the queen. And it would have been wrecked. Nice try though. It falls short at 90. 6% Philip is in first attack for strut today three super bowlers one e titan we start with the warden and the flamey boy on the right side of the base okay poison lizard with the grand warden just gotta be patient here nice little outside wall breaker bust open a wall yeti and wizard to grab some funnel value we need the Warden to pick up the Expo, then we should be ready to rock and roll, send everything into this 5 o'clock, 4.30-ish o'clock side of the base. Warden is working on that Expo while the Flame Flinger does its thing. As soon as that Expo's dead, we can start. One more shot, and boom. Go, go, go. Pull the Warden down. Yes, Queen pulls him. Drop everybody else. Here we go with the big old smash into the middle of the base. We got one jumping spell. Lots of rages. No zaps on this one. I think that's pretty common. You usually don't bring zap attack. Zaps on a super bowler hit. Usually only the E-Titan version. 
King on the bottom side to help funnel. Ballers are bouncing. First rage spell already used. Warden ability being used as the Cocoa Balloons make their way to the core. They're actually getting a ton of value in their rage spell as well. Nice use of the Warden ability with the Cocoa Balloons. Freeze on the Town Hall. Invis Tower already went off, already expired. Bowlers can come back around. There's the next Rage. Queen can help take out the Monolith. Then the Pups. Then the Town Hall. We lost all the Bowlers. Uh-oh, this is getting a little ugly in the middle. Actually, one Bowler went to the outside. A little wonky here. King popping ability. Single target Inferno Tower locks onto him. That's not good news. Oh, King gets wrecked. There's still a lot of base left. We got a Royal Champion. We got some spells. We decide to Rage the Healers for the Archer Queen to stay alive with ability. Where do we send the Royal Champion? To help back up the Flame Flinger troops or to help back up the Queen? We're going to send her to help back up the Queen here from the left side of the base. Queen should fight enemy Royal Champion. Take her out. She's also distracting that scatter shot. Might be able to take it out as well without using the ability, perhaps. That would be clutch. Even if she does have to use, use the ability, it's not the end of the world. Royal Champion swinging through the left side of the base. E-Titan and Yeti come out of that flame thing on the right. Queen wraps around the wall. Still has her ability. This is looking solid. Royal Champion goes to ability. We got one freeze to try and keep her alive. Is it going to be enough to get through this base? It's going to be close, but I think he gets it. The E-Titan distracting these defenses as the Royal Champion swoops in is actually coming in clutch. He's got it. Can even swag the freeze spell if he wanted to. Diggy would have stunned that multi anyway. It's a three star all day long as strut. Start this match off with a triple and take the lead. Jazzback Gaiden are in with their second attack. Ooh, look at this legend style diamond toxic base from Rigo Torres. Let's see what CMG can do to it. They're going in with a little zap action in the middle. Taking out... What was that? Builder Hut? And two sweepers? And that's it? Uh, oh, that was two Inferno Towers. Oh! That's high zap value. You got two Inferno Towers. Not sweepers. Okay! I feel like this would maybe be a good toxic base for legends, but in war, when you can actually plan to bring the zaps, yeah, maybe not the best base. Uh-oh, let's see if CMG can really take advantage of that. Queen Sui for the Town Hall after that. Skelly Trap pops. We pop the Queen ability. Second Skelly Trap pops. Queen switches targets. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, it's on 1 HP! And it's getting healed up. RC shield doesn't go to the town hall. Oh, that's awkward. But we got sneakies. Yo, what the? Okay. Did they get it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Just before they die. Uh, okay. King with the Phoenix and the Diggy going into the bottom side here. Going to be able to take out the air defense, take out the royal champion. Rage tower going off a little early because of the baby dragon. That's unfortunate because now the scattershot and expo are doing double damage to the king. We start the Lalo from the right side. Here we go. Big old Lalo. He still has quite a few spells. Stone Slammer in on the bottom side to help support. Go take out the scatter shot. At least that's the plan. Headhunters here could be a little tricky. We're probably going to have to go through the king first. Headhunters coming out of the defensive clan castle. We dropped the poison for those. Oh my gosh. This warden is just getting stuck on the king. Where is he? We send a few more Lalo troops from this bottom side. Send the Headhunters. We need them to hurry up and get through the King so we can pop this Warden ability for Headhunters going to the Queen. This Lalo is looking extremely sloppy. He doesn't use the Warden ability for the Headhunters going to the Queen. Saves it for the Core Balloons. Going to take out the Monolith. Take out the Expo. Path toward the Scatter. Oh, this Lalo felt so sloppy. Bro, the, <laughs> the OP Legend Style base from Riga Torres is gonna get a defense. I guess who cares about the crazy good Zet value, bro, when the rest of the base is just solid. There's going to be some uh, pros in the chat that are saying that base wasn't solid. Just bad plan. Who knows? Everybody's a critic. Nice try to CMG on this one. It is going to be low percent, though. Low percent. 77, maybe? Oof. Warden will have enough time to take out the CC building. Maybe. Yeah, he does. 77% for the, for CMG on this one. Nice try. Rigo Torres 23 is him with his famous Queen Charge Lalo. 
with zaps and an earthquake. Ooh, that only leaves him two rages for the rest of the attack. Flame Flinger is in early on the south side of the base, getting some value over there. Zap Quake in the middle takes out a Rage Tower, an Expo. And what was that other thing? Was it a Monolith? No. Yes. Monolith as well. Okay. Queen starts on the right side of the base. Healers to help her out. Probably gonna have to use the freeze when we fight the enemy queen. No, he's just gonna go ahead and use the first rage early. Didn't hit the healers with that rage. Oh, it's gonna get a little scary. Uh, oh! Rip the queen ability. Because he didn't hit the healers with that rage. She's also walking to the right, and the scatter shot locks onto healers. Uh oh, Rigo. Already in a little bit of trouble here. Decides to freeze the scatter, but the healers are already out of range, aren't they? Yeah. But now CC troops are going for the healers. Bro, this is getting so messy. Use your poison, Rigo, please. Use the poison. That's not even the full pool, is it? Flame Flinger's already dead? What killed it? Were there traps down there? He lost all the healers. Uses the poison late. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Queen doesn't have ability, doesn't have unicorn. There's a lava hound coming out. Can she even get the town hall? There was a mortar down there. I think the mortar did way too much damage to the flame flinger. I'm guessing it was symmetric from this one. Queen's gonna pop the hound. We don't have another poison to help with the pups. She's not gonna get that town hall. This is gonna be awkward. Queen dies right as she pops the hound. That's even more awkward because now there's a bunch of pups we have to deal with that the queen didn't get. Road champion already used her ability. She's not even going to get that inferno tower and we just have to lolo through the town hall with only one rage, one freeze. We're going to send everything from the top side. Get ready to rage. Get ready to pop ward ability. Hope the tornado trap isn't right there. Oh, I had to say it. Rip the tornado. More balloons from the left to try and at least pick up some decent percent. Use the free spell somewhat early on the scatter. Yes. He still actually is going to pick up decent percent. Better than uh, that last CMG attack. But rip. Rip Rigo. The core of the base stays up. The minions will pick up a few more buildings on the outside. He does actually get above 80%. Which I would still say is uh, decent. Considering the start, that's pretty decent considering the start. 84. Wow. Nice try. Nice try. CMG with their third attack, and they've got a chance to catch back up now with a triple. Let's see if Mech can get it done. More Queen Charge Lalo, an early Yeti Bomb in the Battle Blimp on this one. No spells invested. We go straight into that Scatter Shot compartment, take out the Scatter, get the CC pull, and damage the enemy Queen a little bit. CC troops going over to the friendly queen. We poison. We rage. She'll take care of those troops. Those rocket balloons are no joke. They force the queen ability. When there's two rocket balloons going to the queen like that and she targets the hound first, you got to be on time with your poison. I think that poison was a little late, maybe. Or even it was placed right on top of the queen instead of slightly toward the rocket balloons. If you place it even more toward the rocket balloons, it hits them earlier and they won't be able to do quite as much damage to your queen. Little things to think about there. So we already lost the queen ability. Luckily the king pulls the poison tower here early or was it a coca loon? I don't know. Either way, the healers won't get hit by the poison tower, which is nice. We do lose one healer to a seeking air mine there though. Phoenix pulls another seeking air mine. We're trying to sneak in another coca loon. Monolith locks onto the queen. Gonna have to go start going heavy with the spells. Rage spell on the healers. Expo's gonna lock on. We're gonna need the invis as well. Okay. Where's he going with these wall breaks? Next rage on the queen. He's investing so much trying to get queen to clear this core. She's stuck on skellies for a few seconds. Finally goes for the monolith. She will take it out. Maybe she can start fighting some of these heroes here. Oh, it's a lot of damage. Is he paying attention? You gotta be on time with the... Well, he's not doing anything. See, if he had queen ability still, she would have killed the royal champion and the enemy queen. So that makes a huge difference. Losing the queen ability early to the rocket balloons. A massive difference, actually. We're going with the Lalo into the town hall. He decided not to invest any more spells on the queen. 
We still got another freeze, a rage, a haste, but he's losing so many units here. Oh, and the tornado in front of the town hall instead of behind it this time is actually really good for the defender stalling up those balloons. They do get the town hall, but now everybody dies as the town hall explosion goes off. Queen over here sniping things as well. Rip mech. This one's going to be low percent too. Oh, man. Oh, man. 20 seconds on the clock as the Warden Owl try to snipe a few more buildings. Minions on the top side will be able to get that gold storage. This is going to be like a 75er or 76er. If we even have time for that. I think we do have time for 75. Down goes that last gold storage. Yep, 75% asked. He is in. Next attack for Strut. He's going with an early battle blip. Get over the wall. Get over the wall. It does. Is it a blizz? I think so. <laughs> very, very simple blizz. Hello, giant bombs. Super wizards don't even get hit by it. Nice. They take the scatter. They take the royal champion. One more invis. They take the town hall. Very, very simple blizz. And it got quite a bit of value there. Cool. Drops the queen on the left. Looks like he wants her to walk to the left. Elixir storage is a little awkward, but he placed queen perfectly, so she ignores it. King up towards 10 o'clock with a wall break to give him access to the upwards eagle artillery compartment. Now, we don't have any more wall breakers. Are we going to send royal champion there? Yes, we are. Royal champion, but there's a skelly trap. There's a poison tower. There's still CC troops to worry about. We pop the RC ability early. It got rid of some of these defenses, which will force her to the multi right away. I think that's why he popped her ability early. But can she get the multi before the CC troops distract her? We go with the invis to make sure she does. Very well calculated from Ast. She takes the multi. One more invis, and she'll take the expo as well before the monolith takes her out. Those are some very calculated invis spells. Queen pops her ability, trying to get down the lava dog. Do we have a poison? We do. Why is he not dropping the poison? He's already focusing on the Lalo. Needs to drop that poison. Queen might have been able to get the eagle if he had dropped that poison. A little bit of a misplay there. We pop the warn ability. The tornado trap was spinning us around in circles inside that poison effect. That's a little awkward. We're going to freeze the monolith with the air sweeper. Trying to haste our way closer and closer to the multi-targeting inferno tower. We're going to freeze it once. Eagle artillery is still up and is starting to target our big clump of balloons. This is getting a little messy for ass. He still has more balloons to deploy from the top side. A dragon rider doing work on the right side. But everything is fizzling out. Awkward. Eagle takes out the Dragon Rider, and that Eagle, staying up till the end, did just enough damage to the balloons, to the Dragon Rider, that it caused it to be a fail. I think if he had just invested slightly more into the Sui, or even just dropped that poison and was paying attention, let Queen get the Eagle, this could have been a triple. The plan was decent. I think he messed up a, a couple things there. Nice try. Nice try. It's a very solid plan. Gets pretty good percent as we get above the 90% mark. 91 before that last goblin dies. And Strut still maintain their lead over Chaz Mac Gaming. Timtastic is in. More Queen Charge Lalo and yet another chance for CMG to get a comeback here. But they got to start three star. They are way down on percent and down by a star. But a triple here and another defense could even things up. We start with another early battle blimp, probably a Yeti Bomb. Do we invest a Rage? Yes, we do on this one. Do we get the CC pool? It's a little far away, but he might get it. Only a partial pool. It's just the archers and a headhunter. There could still be a Lava Dog or Ice Golems in there or something. Queen snipes a headhunter. We got healers to help her out. She's going to be okay for now. Do we have to use a spell? No. Nice. Nice patience there, not raging the queen right away. Headhunter as well. We still don't have to use a spell for the queen. Good job not using one when you don't have to. King on the right side to help funnel the queen. We're likely going to wall break to the expo, try to push her in toward that compartment. And then maybe another wall breaker to the eagle, and she'll be able to eventually get the other multi as we lolo through the town hall. At this point, that's what I think he should do. 
as King goes in toward the scatter to fight the enemy queen. We rage, we poison, there's more headhunters, more super minions. That's gonna force the queen ability, rip. King with Royal Champion working together now. I would say wall break to the eagle, sir. Wall break to the eagle. He needs to do it now. There it is, the wall breaker, perfect. And then we'll just start the Lalo from six o'clock while the Royal Champion's still alive. Honestly, no point in waiting any further. I would go ahead and start that Lalo from six. What is he waiting on? There we go. A few seconds late, but we're going in. Royal Champion pulls that other poison tower, which is nice. The balloons won't have to worry about it. There's a tornado in front of the town hall, but it's okay because the town hall's not awake yet. But as soon as I say that, it does wake up. Oh, healers are getting wrecked by traps. Queen takes out the builder hut. She needs to go back around. We pop warden ability. We rage over the town hall. Can we get that single in time? We're going to invest one more freeze because that'll keep the queen alive. Queen's losing healers. This is getting a little sloppy. Oh, more balloons. A freeze on the left. The balloon pathing here is actually not ideal. We wanted the balloons to all go left for the scatter shot because Queen could get the multi anyway. They all fizzle out. We saved a couple balloons for the back end. Queen doesn't have healers though. The Warden's going with the Queen instead of the balloons. This is going to be close, but I don't think he gets it. Queen takes the Archer Tower. That's actually super important. The balloon gets in there. Scattershot can't kill the balloon. We still got the Phoenix. We got lots of minions doing cleanup. He might get this. Hold up. If time allows, it's a triple. There's nothing else that can target air troops after the scatter dies and the Phoenix still alive doing cleanup. We got the Sneaky Goblin to help speed things up. 96, 97, 98. It's a triple for Tim Tastic. He's gonna get it done and pressure on Strut now. Cause if they fail again, we could be all tied up. Boom. Is him with more Queen Charge. Lalo, everybody loving the Queen Charge Lalo. Oh, he drops one heal, or he drops all his healers in the range of one archer tower. That's a little awkward. Rages right away. Sends a balloon, sneaky goblin on the right. He's gonna lose a healer. That's unfortunate. He's got another healer targeted, but the queen will take out the archer tower now. Send a hog rider to two of them to pull the poison tower and CC troops. That's nice. Only a partial pull on the CC troops, but at least it pulled the poison tower. Cool. Queen takes out those archers. We send a wizard on the left. Question is, is he gonna try to push Queen into the town hall? Or is he gonna try to push her into the scatter shot? We rage up the queen. We got the phoenix with the queen, not the unicorn. Also worth noting, king on the outside with the frosty. Send a headhunter right there. He's just not even bothering to use the unicorn on this attack. At this point, if you were using the phoenix with the queen, and you still want Diggy with the Row Champion and Owl with the Warden on air. Would you put Unicorn on the King? I think I would. I think Unicorn with the Queen, with the King here, actually gets more value than the Frosty does. Am I right or am I wrong? Let me know. Oh, this is this Hound. Where is the Queen going? Is he expecting her to go back for the Town Hall? Oh, this wall break is so late. Ugh. It's a little awkward. We raised the queen. She gets through the wall. It's just wasted like 10 seconds with her beating the wall, but she's still going the right way. Keep an eye on the clock. He's starting to run out of time and his queen hasn't even fought the hound yet. And she's going to fight it while in range of the monolith. That makes things even worse too. He's finding a lot of seeking air mines, sends the stone slammer straight to the poison tower, which will wake up the town hall. Queen has to go to ability. Eagle is going to absolutely yoink her through the ability, but she's got the Phoenix. Can she get the multi because of the Phoenix before she dies? No, but the Phoenix might get the multi. Yes, we had Yetis in the Stone Slammer. We raged them up going for the Town Hall. Road Champion on the right as the Lalo comes in from six o'clock. Getting a little awkward now as we pop Warren ability early. We haste, we freeze, but the Eagle's still up. There's a lot of base left. I don't know if I actually like this plan. We're completely out of spells and there is way too much base left. Yep, this is a rip. Strut might be in trouble now. We're gonna be all tied up. Percentage is actually gonna be super important. Boom needs to try and pick up the percent here. He's running out of time. Minions all along the outside of the base, but it's gonna be like, what, an 80%? If that? Eight. 
Seven, six, five. We might get one more building. No, they don't even get that storage in time. 79%. Who has the lead? Strut still have the lead by seven buildings. Ooh, it's getting close. General X with the final attack for Chazmat Gaming. Chazmat Gaming have tied things up on stars. They are down by seven buildings on percent. They need a triple and a defense. Any defense. If they don't triple, they need Strut to get seven buildings less than whatever percent this one is. We're going with a Flame Flinger on the top, Skelly Belly Jelly Smelly Donut in the middle. What all can he get? He's gonna get the Expo, the CC. Can he get more? He's going for more. Drops another Invis, takes the multi. Can he get the Eagle? No. Yes! Yo! He didn't even have to drop another Invis. Well, he ran out. I was, I'm actually surprised they got that Eagle. That was clutch. They were not invisible for like a solid two or three seconds and still got the Eagle. King on the right side to go toward the enemy world champion, toward the scatter shot while the Flame Flinger moves left doing its thing. We send a Valkyrie to help the King in case there's any Skelly Traps. Royal Champion from the two o'clock side with the Diggy, of course. Expo locks onto the King. That's gonna allow the Royal Champion to get even more value. Nice timing with the Royal Champion as the Queen and Ice Golem make their way toward the Town Hall Chamber. The setup is looking solid so far. Everything going to plan. Ice Golem Queen have perfect access to the Town Hall. They're definitely going to get that Town Hall. Doesn't even seem like there's any traps there to stop that Queen. Now, how much value can this Royal Champion get? We pop her ability. She's going to pull that Poison Tower. Can she get the Monolith? If he had, if he uses a Freeze, I think she gets it. Is the Diggy still alive to stun? No. Oh, it would have. I think it would have been worth a Freeze. What do you think? Is it worth a Freeze to get the Monolith there? Or nah, just let the balloons finish on the monolith or something. Uh, maybe maybe he was right in saving the freeze for the Lalo. Maybe he was right. It's hard to tell. We'll see. Flame Flinger pops open. Rocket balloons, Dragon Rider take out the multi. Rage Tower goes off on defense. We start the Lalo from the left, but we're not sending the Warden just yet. Oh, he's splitting this Lalo in a really strange way. Freezes. The scatter shot, headhunters, warden ability. That queen got a chance to do so much damage, though. I think the warden group was a little bit late. Last freeze being used on the scatter shot. We did hit the tornado trap over here. It spun us around, distracting us for a few seconds. We get through the scatter. We got to get through that monolith. And look, it's killing his dragon rider. Maybe it was worth the freeze earlier. The dragon rider would still be alive. But he does have a large clump of balloons on the south side. Just enough balloons get there to take out the monolith and pull the red bombs. He's got it. If he doesn't run out of time. Only 20 seconds on the clock. Uh-oh. He might have been a little too slow to start that Lalo. Balloons still going up for that builder hut. They're not even working on the storage on the outside. Rip General X, bro. This should have been a three-star. Instead, it's actually a 90 9.89 RIP Hugo Stiglitz with the final attack of the match all the pressure on his shoulders right now 92% would give us a perfect tie so I think you can do the math 93 or better for the win he's going with Electro Titans zapped away a scatter shot and an expo you can see it was symmetric from the Scattershot Expo on the left. Warden Walk on the right. And where is he going to enter? He's got a Flame Flinger currently activated, but has not deployed it. Is he waiting for Warden to take the Mortar? No. Here we go. Queen pulls the Warden up toward the top side. All he needs is 93% and that Town Hall. Let's see if he can get it. Queen pulls the Warden up. They're going to enter in on the Eagle Artillery. He's going to go... Full risk mode, ending on the town hall here. E Titans are in. King on the north side to help funnel. Queen snipes the Tesla over the wall. We can use a headhunter to fight the king. We only got one headhunter. Does he use it early? He switches to a log launcher, deploys it from the 12 o'clock side of the base. That's meant to get his E Titans all the way across the core and moving toward the town hall. We got one jumping spell for them as well. Two witches behind the king for backup. Coco balloons making their way inside, trying to test for traps to keep those healers alive five ever. 
Ice Golems come out of the CC. We do pull both Poison Towers at the same time. Gonna go ahead and use that Warden ability. Keep everybody safe for a solid 8.75 seconds as we make our way past the Poison Towers, past the Monolith, in toward the enemy heroes here. Take them out. The healers are keeping those E-Titans alive. Royal Champion on the left. <clears throat> Getting those defenses that the king is skipping. Diggy gonna stun the scatter shots. Looking decent. Just gotta make sure we're actually gonna get this town hall and pick up the percent we need. King's beating on a wall now. Ooh, the healers all died. The E Titans all died. This is fizzling out. He still has king ability, queen ability. There's the last freeze. Queen needs to get to that town hall or he's in big trouble. He can freeze it with the expo. He might be worth it here. I think he got a freeze at town. Or did he already use the last freeze, bro? I'm tripping. He already used it. Queen goes down. Diggy stuns the town hall. Will she get it with her ability? Oh, it's low. Come on. RC. RC. Not like this. Hugo Stiglitz. Balloon wizard on the outside. We got the Phoenix ability. Phoenix brings King back to life. He'll slap the Town Hall for the second star, but he needs 92% for the tie. He's at 90. No freaking way. He needed 92 for the tie. And he gets 90. The Phoenix is dead and Chazmat Gaming win the match 11 to 11 89.4 to 89